हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल लर्न जर्मन विद योगिता सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू अवर बी वन लेवल टॉपिक थ्री नेबन जेट्स मिट ऑफ बोल नेबन जेट्स मिट ऑफ बोल सो बेसिकली द लिटरल ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ ऑफ बोल इज ऑल दो ऑल दो एंड दिस मीन्स यू शुड यूज इट If you wish to show a specific contrast, Abhinav, this means you should use it if you wish to show a specific contrast. So, when we use a bowl, the position of verb should be at the end, am ender. When we use a bowl, the position of verb. should be at the end am ender so now we are going to see some example for a bowl so have a look oh here we have examples beispiele ich gehe spazieren obwohl es regnet ich gehe spazieren obwohl es regnet i am going for a walk although It is raining. Ich gehe spazieren, obwohl es regnet. Ich gehe zur Arbeit, obwohl ich Fieber habe. Ich gehe zur Arbeit, obwohl ich Fieber habe. I am going to work, although I have fever. Ich gehe zur Arbeit. A bowl is fever harbor. So here you can see our verb gear is at second position, zweite Position. So when we have verb at second position, then the verb is Hauptsatz. Hauptsatz. between the sentence first and sentence 2 we have one comma we have one comma after comma we put a vowel we put a vowel so a vowel is connecting these two sentences and with a vowel our verb regnet regnet it is in the last position at the end so whenever we have verb at the end a bowl as regnet then these sentences are called neben sets or neben satz so before comma it is a hauptsatz because verb is at the second position and after comma we use a bowl and we put verb at the end and this is called neben satz so it's very important you have to remember this ich gehe zur arbeit a bowl ich fieber habe so again you can see that our verb gehen at the second position comma between two sentences after comma there is our connector of bowl and with a bowl we place our verb at the end so it's very important we should learn that a bowl make neben sets a bowl marked neben sets now we are moving to our next beispiel so let's see Here, ich fliege nach Deutschland. Obwohl ich kein Geld habe. Ich fliege nach Deutschland. Obwohl ich kein Geld habe. I am going to Germany. Although I do not have money. Ich fliege nach Deutschland. Obwohl ich kein Geld habe. So normally, what happens whenever we do not have money? Stay at home. But, but in this case. I am going to Germany, but I do not have money. So, a bowl we also use 
for unexpected consequence unexpected consequence unexpected consequence is i do not have money but still i am going to germany so das is un erwartete folge un erwartete folge so remember we use a verb for un erwartete folge unexpected consequence now we are going to do how a verb is different with why so lo let's see some examples have a look here in these examples a verb and why so meaning of verb so meaning of a verb is although or even though and meaning of why is because tina macht eine reise obwohl sie kein geld hat tina macht eine reise obwohl sie kein geld hat tina goes on a trip although she has no money tina macht eine reise obwohl sie kein geld hat so here we can see tina has no money but still still she is going for a trip still she is going for a trip so again this is an unexpected consequence because she has no money but still she is going but in this case while tina bleibt zu hause while she kein geld hat tina bleibt zu hause while sie kein geld hat tina stays at home because she has no money tina bleibt zu hause while sie kein geld hat so in this case this while telling us the reason why tina is at home why tina is at home warum bleibt tina zu hause while sie kein geld hat so the common thing is here in both the cases of both and while we put were at the end we connect both sentences with a comma but of wohl we use for unexpected consequence un erwartete folge and while we use to give reason why warum so now moving to our next example so let's see ich esse pizza obwohl ich kein hunger habe ich esse pizza obwohl ich kein hunger habe i eat pizza even though i am not hungry ich esse pizza obwohl ich kein hunger habe so in this case i am not hungry still i eat pizza so again unexpected consequence but in this case while ich esse pizza while ich hunger habe ich esse pizza while ich hunger habe i eat pizza because i am hungry ich esse pizza while ich hunger habe so in this case again we are telling the reason warum essen sie pizza why is hunger have again in both the sentences were at the end and in both the cases we are connecting these two sentences sentence 1 and sentence 2 with the comma and after comma there will be a connector or were why so now one more time we are looking to the structure of our topic of wohl so let's see ich kann gut arbeiten obwohl ich krank bin ich kann gut arbeiten obwohl ich krank bin i can work well even though or although i am sick ich kann gut arbeiten obwohl ich krank bin so we have to take care when we have verb at the second position zweite position 
then this sentence is hauptsatz hauptsatz and with a goal we place go at the end am um, end then this sentence is neben satz neben satz we connect these two sentences neben satz and hauptsatz with comma comma and after comma there will be our connector that is obwohl obwohl now you can also start with your sentence with obwohl for example obwohl ich krank bin kann ich gut arbeiten obwohl ich krank bin kann ich gut arbeiten even though i am sick i can work well obwohl ich krank bin kann ich gut arbeiten so when you start your sentence with connector obwohl so you have to take care that after comma we put verb we put verb so obwohl ich krank bin verb verb at the end comma kann ich gut arbeiten so if you write like ich kann gut arbeiten then your sentence will be wrong so you have to take care that after comma verb will come so great i believe now this topic neben setz mit obwohl plus the difference between while and obwohl is clear to you if yes so do give me a thumbs up don't forget to share this video with your friends for more videos subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching auf wiedersehen